How to calculate the launch acceleration of a rocket. Here we have a beautiful picture of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket blasting off from Earth, heading into Earth's orbit, ready to rendezvous with the International Space Station. And our job is to calculate the launch acceleration, just the acceleration just after the launch. Now to do that, we need to know a couple of things about the rocket. We need to know the rocket data. And here's the rocket data here. The rocket has a mass of 1,400,000 kilograms. It's got a total thrust, that is the upward force, of 23 million newtons. And the gravitational field strength near the surface of the Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. But there's one other diagram which can help us work out the acceleration, and that's this free body diagram, a diagram showing the forces acting on the rocket. And we'll stick to the vertical forces in this example. So we start with a small dot to represent the rocket, so we'll place that there. And the first force acting on the rocket, we're told, is the thrust of the rocket, which we represent by that vector there. The thrust is the force which is going to be pushing the rocket upwards. Now the other vertical force acting on the rocket is the rocket's weight. And that is due to the force of gravity pulling down on the mass of the rocket and the weight force vector is pointing downwards. So we have to find the net force acting on that rocket. And we have to find out, first of all, the weight of the rocket. Because if we know the weight of the rocket and we know the thrust of the rocket, we can find that net force or the unbalanced force. To calculate the weight of the rocket, well, that's quite straightforward. The weight of the rocket is equal to the mass of the rocket times the gravitational field strength. And we know the mass of the rocket is going to be 1,400,000 kilograms. So we know that. Multiply it by 9.8 newtons per kilogram at the surface. And if we do that calculation on a calculator, we end up with a figure of 13 million 720 million newtons. So that's a very big, large number for its weight. Now what we're going to do is deal with two significant figures. So that 13 million 720 thousand newtons changes to 14 million newtons to make it that bit easier for us. And we're talking about Remember, two significant figures. Remember, force is measured in newtons. Now, if we look at our force diagram, we can see that thrust of the rocket is going to be 23 million newtons, and the weight of the rocket is going to be 14 million newtons. So obviously the thrust force is going to win. And we can show that by drawing or moving the vectors so that the nose of one nestles in the tail of the other and you can see the thrust vector is much bigger than the weight vector and that's the unbalanced force which is going to cause the acceleration so to work out the unbalanced force or the net force we do the following and we'll write it as the following unbalanced force is equal to the thrust force which we know as 23 million newtons 23 million newtons and we're going to be taking away the weight force, which is acting downwards, of 14 million newtons. So there's our two forces. And unbalanced force will be the difference between those ones. And we're going to get an answer of 9 million newtons. So the unbalanced force acting on that rocket, or the net force vertically acting on that rocket, is 9 million newtons. And it's going to be in an upward direction, which means the rocket is going to accelerate upwards. So how do we find the acceleration of the rocket? Well, we just rely on our equation that the unbalanced force is going to equal to the mass times the acceleration of the rocket. And therefore, we can rearrange that to give us what the acceleration of the rocket is. The acceleration of the rocket will then become unbalanced force divided by the mass of the rocket. And we plug in our numbers now. We have 9 million of an unbalanced force in terms of newtons. And we divide that by the mass of the rocket, which is 1,400,000 kilograms. And if we work that out in my calculator, we get an acceleration equal to 6.4 meters per second every second.
So get to know what that answer means. It means that initially at launch, the rocket with these forces acting on it is going to accelerate upwards at 6.4 meters per second every second. Now that means that its velocity upwards is going to increase by 6.4 meters per second every second. Now, we're assuming one thing here. We're assuming that the mass of the rocket stays the same all the way during the launch. So, I'll leave you with a question here. If we if we follow that rocket up into the atmosphere, it's going to be burning out fuel. It's going to be losing fuel because it's going to be burning it up. So, if the thrust force remains the same, what's going to happen to the acceleration? Think about that one.